undercarriage for the Frankenstein. All I've got to do is make that bit between the tyre there and the airframe. Hmm. Watch this space. So these wheels are off a wrecked Mooney. And I've got the axles to go with it. And so that's going to be the start of, of the wheels. One day they'll get bigger. But for now, they'll work. So things to think about. Um, here's our lower attach point at the front. This one is your struts, and that's the rear point there. And there's another mount up here. Now, it's quite solid through there. So um, the, the original idea was to have, that's where, that's where the shock strut will go, from there to there. So I've changed my mind about the undercarriage again. Um, got the thing swinging in the breeze at the moment, a couple of ropes hanging onto it, um, legs completely out. So I've decided to change the fuselage mount points for the undercarriage. So that's one. That's the upper mount there. Um, so that's where the shock strut's going to attach. That'll just spread the load into the fuselage better. And so it changes our mounting point and adds better stuff, bigger bolt. All of that, and I'm doing the same for the lower ones I'll show you in a sec. This is the first one I've knocked up. Not bad for a hacksaw and a file, eh? Um, this tang here is my um, forward mount from a step. So this is the rear mount. Uh, we'll go and have a look, see on the aeroplane. We just got to bury our way in here. Around this bit. And... Down, 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 down to this point. I wonder if I can get the light to work. All right, that's the um, rear mount for the step, because into the rear cockpit up there. And this is where the undercarriage is gonna go, the rear mount, and that bracket's gonna go like that. And then that's the forward end. Where's the holes? There they are, like that. Of course, that little bolt there is gonna be reamed out to be a bigger one with a bush in it. Hmm, that's what we got up to today. Slowly but surely. Here's some I prepared already. Uh, rear mounts, and that little piece there is, will be for your um, step. So that'll, a little bit will go there, like that. And then another piece will go like, mount to that, and that'll go onto the rear attach point, and that'll be your step to get into the rear cockpit. Anywho, that's for something else, let the paint dry. Alright, so and then these will be uh, the forward mounts. So, similar idea, but um, it just changes the mounting angle, like where the, where the mount is, and uh, the size of the bolt, I can open, I'm going to open that up to be a, a bit bigger. And I've had to make another one here because Muggins here made the wrong side. So we made two of them and I needed another one of them. So this one can go to character building. There's a big pile there. And we'll just quickly paint this one up and that'll go on. I think we're onto it now. Okay, so this is our landing gear jig. So I've got one sort of set up there at the moment. Our axle, this piece here, we're gonna weld in there like that. And then that'll sit up, once we cut this piece here, it'll sit up here. And that'll be the point where the shock strut goes. Up there. Because it's going to go up against the fuselage side. You see over there, that, that piece right there, that's where the strut's going to go. So that'll sit like that. And that piece in there. And then the stiffener through here, I'm cutting on an angle like that, which will be the same angle is that and that'll be my step up into the fuselage you'll notice that it's commercial grade steel not chrome molly um, remembering my budget for this thing is extremely limited so and this commercial stuff is a lot easier to get hold of than chrome molly here at the moment so it'll do a little bit heavier but that's the penalties we'll take. So yeah, watch this space. Obviously up the top here, I've made a little bit of a jig here, so 
the that's the points for the fuselage mount. Obviously, I've got to go a bit further. So about there. The reason why I made I'm using box instead of tube, round tube, is purely because I can make um, the attachments easier to the fuselage. That must that's the main reason. Um, that's what I'm doing with my struts as well, so same concept. So yeah, that's where we're at. Okay, here we go, part two. So we've got that piece and this one slides right into there and is joined flush. And then this one here will come down and sit right where that one needs to be. And then obviously this one I'll just do by hand. So just looking at that, that's zero. Okay. And yeah, so your angles are per se here. So that's looking pretty good, mate. I'll weld that one up for you. sorted and the, the um, mounting points um, we're working on now so uh, here's a setup that we're going with we've got two tangs and then these um, nylon blocks will be just a support so like an anti-crush thing for um, for the bolts just like we did with the wing struts and the rear mount is one inboard the, the support and the out Hang. So um, they will mount on the fuselage point. So that's the forward piece there, and that's the rear piece. So it'll mount there and pivot down, and um, then we'll take a measurement from the top point there down to the leg, and that's going to be our shock strut. So there's the other tangs getting, um, they're just getting painted, the paint's drying now. Um, We'll put it all together and then we can um, bolt it to the airframe. See what it looks like standing on its own legs. Okay, one leg dummied on and set at the, the right height. Um, now I can make a mount from there to there for the shock strut and I can also nut out some sort of a step here um, so I can get access up to the to the wing which is eight foot in the air so I can fill the tanks yeah that's the concept so there we go uh, wheel on and my pretend shock strut is all set up I can use that for my dimensions and um, all that sort of stuff so this will do for now until I get my tail wheel sorted. And then I, there's a couple of things like, um, like I need a little step probably off the front there for access to the, to the top of the wing and a few other bits and pieces, brake lines and all that sort of jazz. So um, that's what we're gonna be doing next, but um, essentially that's what the legs are gonna be. Um, hopefully I'll put it all together and stand her up. Um, maybe once I do the tail wheel. Uh, that'll be cool. All right, till then. Couldn't help myself. Had to put it on its legs just to have a look. Um, boy, it's big. Just in the rear cockpit there. So this is eye level, so what's that? Probably five foot, 
to the to the top here. So I can look in still. Getting up in there is going to be fun. Good thing I made a door. So tire. Use that as a step ladder into into the cockpit, into the rear one. So um, I think that was worth it, worth the effort. Wow. Um, yeah. Boy, it's going to be big with the wings on it. I think the wingspan, what do I count? 32 or 34 feet, I think, with the wingtips. Mm. Uh, tail wheel next. Had to try it out too. My head's at least six foot in the air, just sitting in the cockpit. Man, talk about prop clearance. <laughs> oh, 